welcome to day four of virtual camp here in Edison. Before we talk business, let's do a little rhyming, shall we? I need your help. What rhymes with knee? Let me think. Can you think of one? B, C, three, how about tree? That was a good one. Wait, let's try one more. You're getting really good at this. All right, way down here on my toe. What rhymes with toe? No. So, go. Snow. We better not talk about that. But I can tell you one thing we could talk about. How did you play your day yesterday? Did you check out some fireflies? Did you do some rhymes? Did you write in your journal? Did you play with Play-Doh? Did you read your story? Those all sound like great things. And I hope you're visiting us right below and telling us all about the things that you're doing in summer camp. Okay, get out your summer camp kit because this is what you're gonna need for today. Get out these items today your buggy star pointer, your backyard scavenger hunt, twinkle twinkle counting sheets, your Nutella snack pack and a box of raisins, and your play your day tray. I'm ready to go, but wait, where am I going? We need help, here we go. Hey, gingerbread man. Look, look around if you can. Where's this gingerbread man? So can you figure out where we are? Of course you can. You've spent lots of happy hours out here in this very same space in your very own school. But today, let's do something different. Come on everybody, let's have fun. Have you ever thought about counting your yard? No? Well, grab your buggy star and let's go. The ants are marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. Let's count the yard and have some fun and we'll all go counting one, 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 one. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, let's count the yard, that's what we'll do, and we'll all go counting. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, let's count the yard, each thing we and we'll all go counting one, two, three. One, two, three. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Let's count the yard and look for more, and we'll all go counting one, two, three, four. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, let's count the yard for things alive and we'll all go counting one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Isn't it fun to count the yard? You can count the yard some more. Here's a paper. Check it out. It's in your packet. Count the yard and see if you can find all the things that are on this list. Then take your crayons and color some pictures. Perhaps you'll even bring it with you to the Zoom meeting. That would be a lot of fun. Remember, it's so much fun to count the yard. <laughs> It's Mrs. Traver from Pre-K. I am so happy to be here today and share some laughs with you. I have a joke for you. And here's my joke. What do 
do you call a really big ant? Not sure? Well, here's the answer. A giant! A giant? Get it? Like this? A giant! Isn't that funny? <laughs> I thought you would love it. Well, it certainly has been fun and having laughs with you today. It certainly made me... <laughs> giant <laughs> I get it and you know what I know something that is a giant help in the garden check it out you'll find us on your ceiling you'll find us on your floors we're crawling out of closets they're coming in your doors but don't you swat us and don't you smash us and no no don't you spray us oh, why don't you just try go You will find me in the soil, working hard. I am outside your house in the yard. If you can catch me, I will squiggle and squirm. When you see my long brown body, you will call me a worm. I am eaten by the birds after the storm. My segmented body is tube-like in form. People who fish sometimes use me as bait. We aerate the soil, which is really great. Please do not step on me, my life matters too. I help in the garden, and I am a friend for you. I'm going to keep digging for worms because this is fun. In the meantime, let's check out someplace else. Hey, Gingerbread Man! Look, look around if you can! And answer me this! Where's this Gingerbread Man? Well, hi, Mrs. Caldwell. How are you today? Hi, I'm great today. I'm enjoying the beautiful weather. Oh, it is very nice. And there's a nice breeze outside, too. We're so yes. happy to see you here. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to join you today. We are talking about picnics and bugs, and we thought it was the perfect thing to think about. So do you have a favorite time, you know, summertime food? My favorite summertime food is watermelon. I love to cut up a big watermelon and eat it with my boys. Oh. No. When I was little, I loved to have a seed spitting contest off the porch. That would be very fun. That would be, I don't think I would get them very far, but that sounds like a lot of fun. Awesome. If you could do anything that you wanted, how do you play your day in the summertime? Well, we usually wait for the sun to get nice and bright, and then we go swimming in our pool. Um, my boys also like to plant flowers with me, even though they do not like the bees. Mm -hmm. And we usually like to eat lunch outside. All right, so we are reading a story and it is a picnic story and in it there are lots of rhymes and so we've been doing some things with rhymes so i'm going to see if you're up for a challenge i have a word for you today it actually goes with some things that we're talking about and the word is glow g l o w and i'm going to say go and i want to see how many words you can come up with that rhyme with glow go Bow, stow, toe, play dough, Joe, flow, mm. blow, like blowing bubbles. Oh, that's a good one. Flow, flow. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of words. And you notice what I, I noticed, that you are a head thinker. Your eyes go up and you think about where those words are. I noticed that some of, some of the kids, they take the GL off 
and they go, hmm, what can I put in front? And I see how you're kind of imagining it in your mind too. That was a lot of rhymes. That was, that's why you teach kindergarten because you help kids rhyme and that's really important. All right, Mrs. Caldwell, I have one more thing to say. I heard a little rumor about you. In your neighborhood, I heard that you are queen of something. And I was wondering if you might share that with us. Well, in my neighborhood, I happen to be the queen of scavenger hunts. I love to make up a good scavenger hunt for all the kids, including my boys, to go around and try and find everything. And when they're finding, I always encourage them to count what they find. So sometimes they have to find three red leaves or six purple flowers or five ants in a row. And I love to have them go and count because in the summertime, we always want to practice everything we learned all school year long. Wow. I could not have asked for a better answer, Mrs. Caldwell, because guess what? Right after we're done talking, I'm going to share one of your favorite scavenger hunts. And I know the kids are going to really enjoy going out and looking for things and counting their way through their backyards. That will be really, really fun. Do you have anything else you want to say to the kids today? Um, I miss you all and I love you all and I hope you're having a safe and fun summer and enjoy camp and we hope to see you back at next school year and some of you will be big first graders. Oh my gosh, that will be amazing, won't it? I can't wait to see that. Well, this has been very fun chatting with you today and I guess it's time to tune out and say goodbye to Mrs. Caldwell. See you later. Thanks so much. Bye. Are you excited to do a scavenger hunt? Mrs. Caldwell sent it over. It's got lots of cool things to explore. Maybe you'll even want to get out your net and scoop up some treasures. Have fun in your backyard scavenger hunt. Oh, hi. I just got home from camp and I'm washing my hands really well because I'm about to make a snack. And I'm hoping you can make this snack too. You may remember that we've already used this bag earlier in the week because we did our Oreo ant washing. But today there are two things left and I'm gonna open the bag and take them out. Just wanna remind you that Nutella has hazelnuts in it. So if you're allergic to nuts, don't use this for your snack today. All right, so I have my Nutella and pretzel sticks. Mmm. And then I have a container of raisins. Oops. Do you know where raisins come from? They actually are dried grapes. So I'm gonna open up my Nutella now. And when I was a little girl, we used to make the same snack, only we made it with celery and peanut butter. And you might wanna try that too. But I thought for a change, it might be fun to use these. So I have pretzel sticks and I have Nutella, which is a chocolate hazelnut spread right inside. And I have a little knack, uh, knife. And I'm just gonna spread that on. I guess you can spread it as thick or as thin as you would like. And then we're missing something, aren't we? We've got the bud, we've got the logs, we don't have the ants. I'm going to count some ants and put them on. Here we go. One. I wonder how many I can get on here. Oh, it's kind of fun. Two. Three. Oh, look. I might have to test that. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Four. You can make them one at a time. Or you can make them all together all over your plate. And then of course the best part comes when you get to eat them. Mm. Mm. Buggy snacks are a lot of fun. You can use vegetables, you can use fruits. See if you can come up with your own creation and you can have a buggy snack every day and it will be delicious. 
All right, day four of camp, and we have so many things that we could do to play our day. Let's see, I'm gonna start off with this one. Counting your yard. This was a really fun activity. Remember, we did it on your playground, but there are plenty of places in your own yard you can do it. Make sure you use your buggy counter. That will help you along. Let's see, number two, tell a joke. We're up to four jokes now. Lots of people you could tell a joke to. And what about dig for worms? I borrowed this from Mr. Yates, and this is what I would use in my yard to dig with, but you could use a stick or a spoon, anything you can get in there and find those worms. Oh, and I haven't finished all of my snack yet. Lots more pretzels, lots more hazelnut, and lots more raisins. My tray is getting really full. Oh, and don't forget this, the backyard scavenger hunt. Oh, that could be really, really fun. Thanks to Mrs. Caldwell, we really appreciate having this activity. And oh, one more thing, your book. If you've been reading it every day, you're probably getting really good at those rhymes by now. So many things that you could do to play your day. I can't wait to hear all about it. Make sure you keep posting to the places down below. I wanna see your videos. I wanna see all the things that you're doing. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow for day five of Going Buggy. Have a great day, everybody. Well, hope you had fun at camp today. Don't forget to fill your tray. Fill it up and you can say just how you will play your day. Play your day. How you gonna play your day? Count your yard, tell a joke, read your book, dig for worms, go on a scavenger hunt, make ants on a log. Who's ready to play? Get on your way and play your day. Hope you had a great time. If you can, take a moment to fill out the survey listed below. Also, we want to see you on June 19th at our Zoom. Click the link and we'll see you there at 10 o'clock. Bye for now.